I have a I have a quote. Maybe maybe we can because we like to also turn to the sources, the Jewish sources, people who lived thousands of years ago, hundreds of years ago, and they, sounds like they they have a lot of wisdom, you know. And we and the interesting thing is that even, not only Jews, even non Jews take a lot of direction, right? Moral direction, legal direction, right? From from Jewish texts, right? A lot, you know, the 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 the, the legal system is built on it. The, the um, the, the government uh, organization, a lot of a lot of how we run our lives actually is rooted in these texts. But surprisingly, we didn't take all the texts, you know, into consideration. We just took the bits that fit, you know, what we're doing right now. But for example, uh, Rav Cook is saying, uh, who was the f- first chief rabbi of Israel, and, and a fascinating ca- uh, guy. And he wrote a lot. He says, Amalek, Hitler, and so forth, awaken us toward redemption. Just a simple line like that, right? Amalek, Hitler, so forth, awaken us toward redemption. Aman. Aman, yeah, all those like different enemies, right? They, they sort of like, they, they force us to reckon with something. The question is what? And then uh, Yehuda Ashlag, I don't know if you heard that name before, he, he wrote the commentary in the book of Zohar. Which is considered like one of the right the main books of main, one of the main Jewish texts, uh, very little understood, right? But nevertheless, very important text. And he says, um, he um, uh, he he says, it is upon the Israeli nation to qualify itself and all the people of the world to develop until they take upon themselves that sublime work of the love of others, which is the ladder to the purpose of creation. I mean, this is pretty straightforward. This is not like, hey, may, maybe be nice. To, no, there's something to do with this love of others, some this this quality. And that's what I meant when we said, like, who are we? I think we are, and that's kind of the 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 heart of the matter. Is if we are a people who are supposed to bring love to the world, if we're supposed to be this light up to the nations, then uh, then we better get to it. And and by doing that. Um, maybe we don't need or we wouldn't need uh, all of these forces on the outside constantly pushing us uh, in such a brutal way. There was actually a quote that I thought was really interesting. Theodore Herzl said, anti-Semitism rises, and this may not be word for word. He said, anti-Semitism rises, and so do I. Um, you know, some might take that to mean haters are my motivators or something, um, <laughs> as we all say it now. And I think there's some level of truth to it for really all communities in the way that we fight for ourselves in different ways on a daily basis, but it's only when we're met with hate maybe that we're actually really calling for action. And I think the reality of that makes a lot of sense. You know, if you're not being met with threats every day, you're living your life. Once you're met with a threat, you're calling to action. So I think that has a lot to do with we see anti-Semitism, we're standing up to it. And I think that's okay. I think there's that's very like a natural response. I think what we can do now is going back to that education piece is really, if we educate now, we can have a better future tomorrow. Educate about what, what do we educate about? Jews, our history, um, our what, what do we need to tell what do we need like what what do we need to tell everyone? I would say to listen, to listen to Jews when we say something is anti-Semitic, listen to Jews when we say a political figure is saying anti-Semitic things, even if they are a popular political figure, it is hard to point out fault. It is hard to point out things people are doing when they're well-liked, when they're doing things bad, when they're well-liked. And in the way that we need to, whether it's, so whether it's a political figure, whether it's um, a lack of education or something that is just, whether it's just misinformation or just really just straightforward anti-Semitism, I would say really what we need to tell people is to listen. Um, That I would say within my own intersectional identities, I would say that that's what I do within all my identities. I say, listen, 